Want to make ice cream by doing this? I'll show you how. I'm Lindsay from Duzella's science team and former fifth grade teacher. And today I'm gonna to share my favorite end of the school year activity. It's a little bit of science, a little bit of eating, and even if you have heard of this activity before, ice cream in a bag, you might not have seen this extra simplified version of it. Here's what you'll need for each student. One quart size Ziploc bag, two cups of ice. I like to wheel in one of those small wheeled coolers. That way I can easily wheel all the ice outside if we can do it outside. And it also means that I don't steal all of the ice from the teacher lounge fridge. And then we need two tablespoons of salt, one to two of these individual coffee creamers, and then either mini popsicle sticks or a wooden coffee stirrer. Here's what you'll do. Open up your Ziploc bag and you're gonna put in two cups of ice, fill it about halfway. Add two tablespoons of salt. Throw in one or two still sealed individual coffee creamers. Seal the bag. And now you're gonna shake this bag for about 10 minutes. You might want to grab some paper towels to wrap around it to keep your hands from getting too cold. This is also, like I said, a great activity to do outside. And then you might also want to consider throwing in coffee creamers for two students per bag. That way they can take turns shaking the bag if they're likely to get you know, too tired after 10 minutes. Here we go. Here's what's happening. If you live somewhere snowy, you might have seen trucks dumping salt on icy roads. This is because salt actually lowers the freezing point of water. Normally, ice starts to melt at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but when we add the salt, it can melt even when the temperature is colder, sometimes down to around 15 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm still going. In the ice cream in a bag activity, this super chilled salty ice mixture starts to melt by pulling heat from its surroundings, including your creamer cups. As the heat moves out of the creamers, they get really cold really fast. This causes the liquid inside to freeze, giving you a delicious physical change from liquid to solid, AKA your ice cream-ish treat. And you've done it. You have made ice cream-ish with science. Mm -hmm. If your students enjoyed this activity, check out the standards aligned chemical versus physical changes video lesson at generationgenius.com.